Hey, hello, and welcome to Ahead of the Game. It's episode 42. So welcome. Um, we have a bit of a special episode this week. Everything, um, Jason won't be here this week, but he will be joining us live um, next week. So we will be saving all of those fun questions for him when he is live. So let's get started um, with our updates today. Um, now, before we do anything else, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, yeah. So sorry, let's get let's get started. <laughs> um, so this week in updates, let's start with the founders note governance vote. So the referral incentive system is now live. So you guys can go ahead and go and vote for it. It is live until March 18th until noon Pacific time. So you can read more about that in the no node owners announcement channel in our discord. Now, next up, we have GalaSwap news. So what's new to GalaSwap? Swaps are now visible when searched. The coin gecko price is now displayed and Two Galascan links have now been added to the side navigation bar. Now, Galascan displays the Galaswap transi transition histories on Galascan, and the My Transactions will show you the user's user transaction history. So that's kind of cool to look forward to on our Galaswap. So if you haven't seen that, go take a look. Good stuff to see. Um, this week, there are no updates on our marketplace, no updates on film, and no updates on music. So then we will be moving on to our knowledge base articles that have been published this week. So the new articles include finding an account, um, finding an account's GalaChain wallet address. Uh, there's an article about GalaChain, articles about how to report a scammer. The Poker Go Play light paper is out. So is the Eternal Paradox light paper, Echoes of Empires light paper, Champions Arena's light paper, and also Gala Films light paper. Now we've updated um, some of the following articles to provide more clarity. So you guys go ahead and check it out when you guys get a chance. And this would be navigating the Gala Games website, where to find rewards after a distribution, connecting a Web3 wallet, deposit and withdraw Gala and other cryptocurrencies on Ethereum network, adding email addresses to the allow list, common ground world competition reward structure, playing a game on Gala game site, and updating the Gala node software on Windows or Mac OS. Now, next up for the next update, um, we have more information on the GDC hackathon event uh, that has been settled. And we're going to have the lovely Rhiannon tell us a little bit more about that. Come on in, Rhiannon. Alienware, AWS, and a chance to win a piece of a $1 million prize pool. I thought that would get your attention. Uh, this March in San Francisco, California, Gala teams up with AWS and Alienware to bring you the 2024 Gala Chain Hackathon. This time around, the focus on Gala Chain, the cutting edge L1 blockchain that powers our very own ecosystem. The Galaxy Nasty Cable and Power Participants to innovate and revolutionize the future of blockchain technology forever. The hackathon kicks off at 11 a.m. on Wednesday, March 20th, and the event itself promises a thrilling 24 hours of absolute creativity and innovation. Everyone from veteran coders to hobby enthusiasts will have their chance to shine in this collaborative sprint. Attendance is both remote and in person. If you do decide to make the trip to the Golden State, we have quite a treat ready for you all. Gala is going to make sure we go all out, and it's not just another hackathon. It's an experience like no other. 
prepare to indulge your senses in live music and exquisite food offerings. Also, a little birdie told me we're getting exclusive stream from the first episode of Razor with the main man himself, David Bianchi. <laughs> well, that'd be your attention. Three whole new reasons to make this trip. I'm going to make it four. Number one, goodie bags. All of the in-person participants are going to receive a goodie bag filled with gala branded swag. There'll be mugs, USB drives, shirts, mouse pads. Oh my. Number two, celebrity judges. If you've been paying close attention, you might already know who some of these judges are. But for now, I'm just going to say that we have renowned guests from all over Web 2, Web 3, games, and music. Number three, celebrity judges have their own prize category, but only for in-person participants. Number four, if you think I look stupid in this hat, you can totally come be in person and tell me. Okay, it's fine. I'll be there. Come in. Thank you so much, Rhiannon. And I think personally, your hat looks great. And if anyone has an issue, they can actually show up to GDC and tell you themselves. You are correct. I like that. I like that a lot. So as you guys heard, there is going to be guest judges, lots of swag, lots of cool stuff. Like, get your butts out there. Come see us. Join the hackathon. It's going to be great. And come say hi to the lovely Rhiannon. All right. So... Anyways, with that being said, let's begin our, oh, sorry, Paul, I am missing something. Paul was just talking to me. Oh, sorry, my bad. That was my bad. <laughs> Anywho, let's continue with our game updates. We're going to be starting with Common Ground World. So there's lots going on with Common Ground World today, and uh so yesterday, I know that it was Leaky Wednesday. So in Discord, usually what happens is um, Farmer Michelle will drop um, little bits and pieces of things that are to come. And what I like to do is fill in those little blanks for you guys. So let's go ahead and start with that. So our next competition is going to be held March 19th to 22nd. Now, the theme is going to be the Golden Heart Necklace. Now, the new recipe for this gold um, heart necklace is going to be one gold-plated heart pendant, one lobster clasp, five silver jump rings, and six gold jump rings. Next up, the new NFT sale is the Leprechaun's Pot of Gold, and it is legendary class. The price is going to be $400. It is three, two, one passive gold ore. 30% craft time boost for jewelry and crafting table. Now, this is global and can stack effects from corrupted open pack art, Miranda skins, and any applicable ghost cards and blueprints. Um, now, we also have a spring sale that has started today and on sale for Common Ground World. We have on sale items including the golden apple tree, which is 50% off, the spooky wheel of nightmares at 40% off, Nona's Trattoria, 25% off. Tunnel of Love, 25% off. Fireworks Tower is 25% off. Hot Cocoa Chalet is 25% off. Crystal Reindeer, 25% off. Mistletoe Arch, 25% off. Table of Appreciation, 25% off. Lantern Festival, 20% off. Barista Palace, 20% off. And Spooky Ghost Tracks is also 20% off. Now, don't forget to say hi to this fluffy, fluffy Pyrenean mountain dog, Sparky. He's going to make your farm feel as safe as ever, granting all rangers, ATVs, chickens, cows, sheep, and other farm animals in your town confidence for an extra 25% movement speed boost. Now, this NFT is unstackable with itself and receives no play to earn rewards. Um... Yeah, so we are going to take a look at what else is to come in the next quarter for the game content. Now, for March, the free storage NFT is going to be Salmon Storages. Event from March 12 to 15 is Mead. March 12 
sorry, March 19th to 22nd, which is the upcoming one, is the Hasty Steel Miller. New recipe is the Golden Heart Necklace. March 26th to 29th, an existing craft from Santa's factory. Now for April, the free storage NFT is to be announced. We don't have it yet. We're, we're, I guess we're not giving it to you guys right away. So April 2 to 5th, April Fool's Week. You won't believe what you won't believe me if I told you the meta. I wonder if that's a clue. Nobody knows. Now, April 9th to 12th, it's going to be new content, a savory surprise between two toasty companions. So I think that's your clue, guys. That's your clue. Toasty companions, two of them. April 16th to the 19th, the blueprint. It's to be announced. It is going to be new content, um, a touch of crimson charm, casting a cozy glow into any room. What kind of hint is that? Do you guys have any idea? Because nothing's coming to my brain right now, but I'm thinking. <laughs> April 23 to 26, the event is going to be Sushi Boat. Now for May, the free storage NFT is to be announced. We don't have that one announced yet. May, um, April 30th to May 3rd, the new content is a fluffy companion for your couch or bed that adds a pop of color. Hmm. They were, they're giving some good, uh, good hints. Good, good hints. Now, May 21st to 24, the new content is a symphony glass encased joy. Each bottle, a tantalizing tale of grape filled dreams. I think that one is, it gives us a little bit more and tells us what it is, but I can't tell you guys. So we will confirm when the day comes. And now, as always, the town hall is scheduled for tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific. And if you have any last minute questions that you want answered, make sure you fill out that um that question submission form and you can find that in our description box below or in our common ground world announcements channel in discord now moving on to mirandas now this week's current sprint with mirandas uh the operation field of battle so just a reminder before we release the latest full zone, we're doing a massive stress test in all small zones to find any memory leaks. Now, if we need to see, we need to see how many players and creatures can get into the same zone and at what point the servers start to fail. Players, do, players will join in a rolling hills open zone field and experience a limited character progression. Once we find and fix the leaks, we will be able to actually launch this test tech test so that is something to look forward to that is kind of cool i i do look forward to breaking mirandas every so often i think it's something fun <laughs> now next in this sprint is the main targets now the engineering team's goal is to continue pushing gala chain implementation into the build focusing on key features like the ability to burn nfts tokens swap tokens materium etc now we haven't hooked up the chain yet, but we already have a few basic operations within the game present. Now we will have a little treat for you guys at the very end, um, just to see what these few basic operations are. So we'll wait until then. Now, next up is the design team. So design team is focused on improving the core experience um, and balancing the economy further. Next up, the zone squad will continue to get the field of battle and purgatory into a shippable state. Uh, we've already made considerable progress in these zones. Now the rest is just, the rest is set dressing and polishing, um, ensuring that they have the functional elements that they want and the audio and vi video effects teams are collaborating to bring more life into these zones as well. So that is something to look forward to. I'm really excited to see how much more life can be brought into these Miranda zones because it all looks pretty incredible already. So looking forward to it. Uh, tech Arts. Now, their primary goal currently is to support the character squad. And the character squad is currently wor working on fauna variants for the wolves, deers, and the bucks. So now we'll leave you guys with the leaked video that we spoke of earlier. And this is the Gala to Materium in Game Swap. Let's take a look. All right. So this is pretty cool. You're sitting here at the screen. You can ask to swap. Type in a number 500. And it spends 
whatever our conversion rate is, 500 gallon right now, it's one to one. Your 500 material uh, is given into the game. And the amount that you see on the screen is what ends up in your backpack. So that's at the account level. Now, when you get into the game, this is at the player level. You've got 616. Drag it around, do whatever you want. Split stacks, it doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't matter. So, 100, there's 500. If I say I want another 1,000, it's now swapped 1,000 gallons for 1,000 Ethereum and added it to your first stack. We worked them all together, whatever. So we now have that part working. All right. How cool is that? I mean, I, I I haven't seen us be able to trade anything in game yet, but that looks like it's a pretty cool feature and quite promising. So more things to look forward to in Miranda's. I think that's awesome. All right. So moving on, next up we have Champions Arena. So with Champions Arena, as you guys know, there is a big, big update coming March 20th. So let's explore what we'll be looking forward to. So the new Nexus update, it's going to include Champion Rentals. Now, you can rent champions for an hour and use them limitlessly. You may rent an one NFT. You may rent an NFT once per day. So you can get additional rentals with a champion's rental ticket. And these are going to be available for purchase with paid gems. And you can buy them daily. Now, how cool is that? You, The rental system. Yay! It's here. Yay! So whenever you guys do get a chance to uh, jump into that with the rental system, tell me how it is because I haven't had a chance to. And uh, I am very genuinely curious about how it's going to work and if it works and how well it works. So let me know all about that. Now, you're going to receive recommendations for the champion rental availability upon entering the arenas. Now, rented champion levels are also linked to your highest level champion. So there is no needed guesswork. So that's that's kind of nice. It'll just base everything off of your strongest character, which is which is nice. Again, like I said, that is pretty cool. It takes a lot of the guesswork out, and then you don't have to really sit there and compare and be like, is my guy better? Is this worth it? Is it not? So that, that saves a lot of time. Now, the arena improvements. Um, these will include limited battles for victory points earned per day. Battle limits based on M on NFT count and rarity resetting daily at UTC 0, 0. So the number of battles reduces even when defeated. Extra battle victory point opportunities. You can earn more victory points by renting champions from Nexus. You can win arena battles to receive daily gems as well. That's kind of cool. Um, arena tier score formula changes. Now, score now considers the gap between the teams for fairer matchups, so that's always going to be nice. Uh, matching rules have been improved and anti-macro pop-up removals. Now, last but not least, do not forget about the special spring sale happening. It starts tomorrow and it'll continue until March 22nd, and you can find more of the details of the sale in the Champions Arena announcement channel in our Discord. Uh, now, next up, we have Last Expedition. So for Last Expedition, we do not have a whole lot of updates this week, but we did release the new economy overview. And so the link for this article has been posted in the Last Expedition announcements channel. So head over there, give it a read, and uh, let's get playing. Next up, we have Eternal Paradox. Now, with Eternal Paradox, we are all aware Season 3 is here. So, what's new in Season 3, you ask? Well, you know, let, let me tell you. Let's get started with the new mercenary. New mercenary, Wang. Wang is a light type. He uses HP as the main stat. Wang can take different strategies, including a conditional revival and skill cooldown reset of any ally. That's kind of a cool skill. Everyone needs a healer, you know? 
uh, Wang will be available in normal summon and first pickup summons in season three. Now, the second new shiny thing is that the guild boss raid Doombringer. What a name, Doombringer. Sounds like he's going to, you know, ooh, havoc everywhere. That's, that's what I get from the name Doombringer. So once exclusive missions are cleared, you can summon Doombringer. Now they have up to 20 levels. You have 30 minutes to work with your guild member to eliminate all of them. Rewards are granted based on the stage defeat and the player's cumulative damage. Uh, you can use the Rune of Ruin, and this is a reward to do war research. Now, what is war research, you ask? I got you. The Academy will now have a new search section called War. Uh, war research opens at Academy level 20, and you can acquire buffs that are helpful in field battles from war research. Uh, you may also use the Ruin of Ruin, which is a reward from the Doombringer to do war research. Now, if you initiate attacks on other players' fortresses, um, that will give you war protection restriction. Um, so what this means is once you have this status, you cannot shield items for a period, use shield items for a period of time, in which this kind of makes sense to me, right? I mean, if you're gonna go attack someone else, uh, you, you know, you should be just as vulnerable to be attacked, right? So it's it's a little bit more fair that way. So I agree with it. That that makes sense to me. <laughs> um, lastly, or sorry, not lastly, there's other new features um, include skipping tutorials. So you can actually skip through all of the opening scenes, the dialogue, and all of that, and just go straight, um, straight to begin right from your keep. Now, what's been improved in season three? Let's take a look. So troop preset. Uh, what this means is in battle, in field battle preparation, you can actually create a troop preset with merc mercenaries and soldiers that you want. All you have to do is just save and load. So you can make up to six troop presets. So you can always have them, you know, just loaded and ready to go. We have conquest rewards. The conquest conquest rewards will always okay let me start this again i have no idea why the the words that i'm seeing are not the same ones that are coming out of my mouth so let's try this again conquest rewards the conquest rewards will always be available to be claimed from the rewards screen now you can obtain rewards from previous conquests as well so that's one of the things that has been updated um Next feature here is stealing guild names. Interesting, interesting header. Now at the start of every season, there will be a one week period for guild masters to create a guild with the same name and abbreviation from the previous season. Only the same guild master can create the same name and abbreviation during the one week period. So that's actually good to know. If you wanted to go ahead and continue with your own guild name, Fear not, that is going to be stolen. You have a week to, you know, secure the same guild name, abbreviation, whatever it is, to just to make sure that you guys keep on keeping on. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Uh, moving on to Captain Gear and Mercenary Gear. Now, the rarity of Captain Gear will no longer change when being promoted. Only the same type of Captain Gear can be used when promoting Captain Gear. This also applies to your Mercenary Gear. The number of gear that can be crafted increases based on on forge level now please remember when promoting gear it requires the same type of gear to promote and again this goes for mercenary gear as well higher caps when selling gear now the number of mercenary gear sold in bulk is now increased to 500 instead of capping out at 15 previously um now Expanded DDP acquisition bonus. Now the DDP bonus applied from NFT mercenaries has been expanded to include gather field resources, mercenary max levels, captain gear max levels, and other methods that were provided in DDO in season two. The number of mercenaries available to available in pickup summon has increased to seven. Um, gift or sorry, guilt festival. Fewer points are required to move up a stage and now better stage rewards as well. So that's a, that's a, that's a positive improvement, I would say. 
Now, Season Pass 3 is also available, and the third Season Pass provides the Heart of Steel clan skin along with other various rewards. So that is something to look for in your Season Pass 3. Um, and I think that is it for our updates and fixes and improvements to Eternal Paradox. Now, don't forget about the three events that are still go ongoing for these. And these are going to be the Earn Gems from Leveling Up to Your Head Office, Earn Immortal Emblems from the Ring of Ruin Conquest, and lastly, the Seven Day Daily Coupon Codes. Now, more can be found in our Eternal Paradox announcements channel in our Discord. Uh Moving on, we have no updates for Legacy, none for Echoes of Empire, none for Dragon Strike, and the next one up is going to be Poker Go Play. So, I do. Okay, so it turns out we do have a Walking Dead. Ooh, okay, so we do have... Um, Sorry, give me just a second. Paul, I am not seeing it. This one or this one? <laughs> Sorry. Um, so we, it looks like we have a Walking Dead update today, but it was not popping up in my show notes. So we don't want to skip over them. So we want to make sure that we get you these ones there. Perfect. So with The Walking Dead today, our updates is that there is a sneak peek of new weapon types being added to The Walking Dead Empires. Um, I'm hearing how about an axe or a horde separating riot shield? Um, Yes. So some test animations, early WIP looks pretty promising. The spinning axe special looks baller. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we have to see this video. Okay, so that was pretty freaking cool, you guys. So I know you guys have been asking about Founders Keys. Now, are Founders Keys sales socials ads with all the bells and whistles also hot off the press? Some of the new construct assets for your base, fresh concepts and environment blood decals. Enjoy. Okay, so there's a new video to share. Yay! All right, and last but not least, we have new art from the game. Let's take a look.
how was that? I was a little worried today. Thought we wouldn't have like an update for The Walking Dead, but Paul, good Paul, pulled through and he was like, we have an update. I was like, yes, we're doing it. So thank you, Paul. I appreciate you. And I know the community does as well. So next up, we have Poker Go Play. So a very short um, update from Poker Go today, just rewards for the sweepstakes um, 20 to 26 should have gone out already. And this should have gone out yesterday. If you're having issues, just give us a shout, let us know, and we will get that settled for you as well. Um, but yeah, that is about it. There will be more to come in time. That's it for our Poker Go Play updates. Next up, we have Legends Reborn. So yay to Legends Reborn for launching on Monday. Um, so congratulations. That's that was super cool. Uh, join us as join us in game as we continue to develop the game. And uh, yeah, let us know what your feedback and updates or sorry, give us your feedback so that we can update accordingly. Make sure that, you know, you guys see what you want to see, fix everything that isn't supposed to be there and just make the game awesome. So, yeah, let us know what you think. Next up, we have Gala Games Plays. So last week, we had a fun but kind of short time playing Legends Reborn. Um, and sorry, that wasn't last week that we played Legends Reborn. It was actually Tuesday. I keep thinking of Gala Plays. There's the Tuesday session, and there's also a Friday session. So I kind of get those mixed up sometimes, but those are our Gala Plays sessions. So on Tuesday, we did um, give Gala, or sorry, give Legends Reborn a go. Um, yeah, so it's going to be next Tuesday and Sinister is going to host another game of Legends Reborn. So make sure you guys join him. Take a look and uh, yeah, we'll see what uh, the game has to offer next Tuesday. Next up, we also have um, JD on Friday playing some Helldivers 2 uh, with a special guest. Now, we don't know who that special guest is. So make sure you take a look and uh, keep your eyes and ears peeled for our announcements to see who that is. All right. And it'll be tomorrow. And Paul, would it be at 4 p.m. Pacific or is it still three? OK, so time to be to determined. We don't have a set time yet. So again, make sure you keep your eyeballs peeled and your ears peeled for what time to join us. Other than that, spring is almost here and we are unlocking special pricing and discount opportunities for a lot of items in the gala game store and this includes gala games mystery boxes um 25 off bronze mystery boxes 10 off silver gold and platinum mystery boxes now the sales extend to champions arena champion boxes Eternal Paradox Gem Packages, Meow Match, The Walking Dead Empires, Common Ground World, and Poker Go Play. Now, going hand in hand with this sale is the Rebate Madness. Okay, with the spring sales lineup, we're introducing a sweet new platform feature for a certain for certain new qualifying purchases. And this is the rebates. Who doesn't love the word rebates? I love the word rebates. Maybe it's just in my blood, but I like rebates. <laughs> Anywho, look for gala rebates on select items when um, when purchasing with a credit card or either of the USD stable coins offered um, as the gala's purchase options. And this includes the purchase options of USDC and USDT. Now, when you purchase a qualifying item with any of those currencies, you'll receive a Gallup Mint Allowance rebate for a portion of the purchase price. And sometimes it'll be up to 100%. So take advantage of the sale while you can. So all of this, um, I believe the sale is good until next week. Um, but all the details of the spring sale you can find in our announcements channel in our Discord. Now, with that being said, we have come to the very end of our updates. Unfortunately, we are not taking any AMA questions this week because we are going to have a really, really special episode next week where we will be hosting live from the GDC. Th sorry, GDC. Wrong thing to say. Sorry, let me start again. We're going to have a live special event um, from 
GDC hackathon events. Okay. So all of us will be live and we will have Jason live answering all your questions as well. So it's going to be a huge event. You're going to see everything happening. Everything's going to be live. It's going to be great. So you guys do not forget to join us then and uh, make sure you tune in, show us some love, shoot us all the questions that you have about hackathon, GDC, all of that good stuff. And uh, yeah. Now, Lucifer, I see you. Okay. I know. So I'm going to show you this, this one time. Okay. Tattoo. So it is a memorial piece. These are all of my past family members and my dog. And so that is what this sleeve is for. Lots of skulls, lots of roses, floral, all of that fun stuff. Yeah. So with that being said, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Show us some love because we're out here showing it to you. And we will see you guys all next week live on location at GDC. See you guys next week. Bye.